Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. My kids have been begging to make something just as cool as the chocolate covered pretzels we made last year. We did a bunch of recipe testing and settled on two ways to make chocolate covered strawberries that I know you're gonna love. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. For both ways, you'll need some fairly large strawberries, chocolate chips, and then an oil of your choice and I'm using refined coconut oil. For the strawberry lollipops, you'll also need some straws, ribbon, and then sprinkles are optional. The first step is to wash your strawberries and dry them really well. You want them completely dry or the chocolate won't stick to them. And the next step is to melt your chocolate. So I have some chocolate chips in a large bowl, and then I have a little bit of refined coconut oil. Again, you can use whatever oil you have on hand. I'm going to put that right in there and do my melting in the microwave. Microwave your chocolate chips on high for 30 seconds at a time, stirring well each time so they don't burn. I recommend using a silicone spatula so the chocolate chips don't stick. My chocolate is all melted. It usually takes my microwave about a minute to a minute and 30 to do that. And now I'm gonna prep my strawberries by hulling them. So I've got a really small knife and I'm just gonna go right around the center. Now I'm gonna pop my straw into my strawberry. I have these adorable striped ones in pink and light pink that I'm gonna use for Valentine's Day. And they should just pop right in there and then I can dip. I'm just gonna swirl my strawberries around a few times to get all the drips off. Next, you need to let the chocolate harden. You can do that on wax paper, but I find the strawberries tend to get a little bit smushed, which I don't love. So instead, I borrowed a little bit of this crafting styrofoam from Brooke. I'm gonna stab the straws right in there. Next, I'm gonna show you one more that I decorate with some sprinkles. So again, right into my chocolate. You're just gonna dip, twirl, and then add some sprinkles. Now all that's left to do is add a little bit of ribbon for some extra embellishment. So I'm just gonna tie it around and make a little bow. These came out so cute and they're a great alternative to cake pops. I love how you can leave them undecorated or add some sprinkles or even some sanding sugar. Next up we have our s'mores strawberry. Again, you'll need some clean dry strawberries and your melted chocolate. You'll also need marshmallow and crushed graham cracker. And the first step for this version is to melt your marshmallows in the microwave, which yes, you can do. You just need an extra large bowl because they actually kind of puff up. The marshmallows are melted and very sticky and the first step is to create a marshmallow layer on your strawberry. So I'm gonna dip it in and roll it around. You'll notice I didn't hold my strawberries and that's to give me something to hold on to while I dip them in the marshmallow. Place them stem side down so they don't stick to the wax paper. My marshmallow is hardened and you can tell because it doesn't stick to your finger when you touch it. And next our s'mores needs the chocolate layer. So I'm gonna pick it up and dip it right into the chocolate. Dip your strawberry in chocolate, leaving a little marshmallow to show, and then sprinkle with some graham cracker. My kids love the way these s'more strawberries taste, and I love how the three layers look. So there you have it, a couple of twists on a traditional chocolate-covered strawberry. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Is it good? Yep, it's better than a cake pop. Really? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. It is really good. <laughs> You've got some juicy lips. Can I kiss him?